Hey, I'm Technofoxal, and I have nothing better to do with my time, so... Um... We're gonna look over my art. Wow, that's a lot of folders. <laughs> I haven't looked at this in a while. I just kind of throw things in here. I'm pretty sure all these are animations. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, we'll ignore this. And we move on to these. I really like foxes, and a friend of mine drew this, like, two or three years ago. They were really good at drawing animals. I'm quite jealous. Same person, except this is Trico from, uh, something something Guardians. Trico's amazing, though. I love him. Uh, same artist. Cat. I don't know what this is. But it's not mine. It kind of looks like that blonde guy from Samurai 7 with a cat on his shoulder. I don't know. Oh! I don't remember your name, but you're from Carnival. Uh, that's me practicing posture and drawing jeans. I don't know why. <sighs> it's okay, I guess. I don't know who this is or what this picture is, but it's cool. It's apparently Discord. I draw myself a lot, and this looked cool. Again. <laughs> oh, that's just a stupid meme. Uh, I don't know who drew it. I, I wish I drew it. But somebody I knew drew it. <laughs> I drew uh, fan art for... Yeah, they really like this ship. And I... I don't know. <laughs> They're cute, okay? That's him, uh, I don't know if you can see my mouse, but... Aizawa tackling Toshinora... Tosh... Dora? Nori. Toshinori. Yeah. Almighty lion down here. <laughs> it's just cute. Uh... I don't remember their name. I think he is Monoma. And she's the girl who... Low-key keeps trying to murder him. Uh, Tamaki and Shoto? I don't know why I drew this. It's okay. Again. Oh, wait, no, that's a... Unshaded version. Oh. This is my D&D &D party. What am I? This is Bali, a Typhlane Pact of the Blade Warlock. This is Kiera, the bard, who is now a cleric as well, a military class. This is Kethoth, my barbarian, who is now dead. He is the one and only character death I have ever had, and I miss him. This is Galadin, our dwarven cleric. Uh, he his his player just vanished from the face of the earth because college vaporized him, and this. I want to say it's Lysander. I don't remember his name. He was an artificer. He is also dead. And a funny story between Keth and Lysander. Keth is a werebird. A were... Arakakra. Uh, Arakakra. Yeah. Okay. Because something happened. I never found out what happened to him. He died too soon. But, yeah. And he... he the first time he turned into an Arakakra, he didn't know what was going on. He didn't remember who he was. So Lysander, being a smart guy, tried stuffing him into a bag of holding. You can guess how well that worked out. Bag of holding torn. Luckily no one died. But his character kind of committed suicide because the bag of holding was his greatest achievement or whatever. Doodles. Uh, mostly of Kethoth. Because Kethoth is my lovely son. I will love him forever. I really like gore. I really love eyes. I draw eyes all the time. I have no idea what that is. Uh, edgy fox. Edgy, oh, well, edgy hand fox. Oh, Kethoth earring. Yeah, he, this is his uh, totem. He was totem barbarian. Barbarian of the eagle. 
which is why he was an Eric. Yeah. Uh, this is my prediction of what happened when he first turned into a Were Eagle. I, it, like, I was gonna bite Bali the the Typhleen and like choke Lysander out, and this cool little thing in the corner. But what actually happened is we got a new player named Adrib who threw sand at me, and I just choked. Until Lysander tried to put me in a bag. Then I tore the bag and continued to choke. And then the god who made me into an Aarakocra said, Okay, stop fighting. <laughs> so I didn't get to kick anyone's ass, sadly. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna lift Kira. This just is a funny moment because he's a bird. And it's a joke that Galadin was super bald. That it's shown. So I was like, ooh, shiny. Peck! <laughs> And yeah, that's, um, Kethoth, as an Eric Agra. In hindsight, having him have human ears is kind of weird, but... Doodles, uh... I think this was supposed to be Merle from the Adventure Zone. I just wanted to draw a Marshmallow Dog, don't judge me. I draw dragons a lot, out of boredom. Uh... Yeah, and a fox, of course. Yeah, dragons. This is a dream. Uh, this is a dream first meeting Kara in Bali. So he's he sees the group and he's like, no violence. He's a tribe man, he doesn't speak much. And so Kara's like, yes, we just want to help our friend Kath. Uh, he's gone insane or something, something. And Bali just like, poof. Just cast an Eldritch Bash on him. And I'm like, I'm not sure how much it hurt. Because I, I think we were level 6 at the time. And he's like, he just straight up, this was after fighting, fighting me, I, no, they didn't really fight me. Oh, they were, they were, uh, Wan T. They were just finished fighting Wan T, which had captured me. Uh, yeah, so Bali was pretty low in health, and he's a warlock, so he doesn't have much health to begin with. So he's like, I don't trust this dude, Eldritch Bash. He's like, and then he just quietly walks over, punches him, because he's a monk. And does ridiculous punch damage. So yeah. <laughs> and he got knocked unconscious. And then proceeded to choke me. <laughs> with sand. This was an idea for an anime opening I had. I have recently... Uh, oh, well, it's set to private because... Or not private. There's a video on my channel unlisted. Because I don't want anybody stealing my friend's music. Uh... But yeah, this was the original animation I wanted to do with it. I ended up doing something different. Looking at this again, I, I kind of want to do it. But animation can suck my ass. Yeah, more of that. This is a funny scene. Lysander has... He's a artificer, so he has a rival. And, uh... I almost said his name's Crick, but no, that's the sound his neck is making. This, this, this guy, he's a robot. Uh... He's like a simulacrum kind of, but robot-y and not a simulacrum at all. But uh, he he went to us and uh, this guy, this sweet sweet boy, uh, I punched him to death because <laughs> he's like he doesn't like artificial things. He's a tribal man. He's a very soul. I think he went on to be a soul monk or whatever they're called. This is Zen, a half-orc, who replaced Lysander. Because what happened was, the god told us to stop fighting. He's like, okay, go on your journey. And Kathoth turned back into a human. And he has no memory at all of what, ha what had happened just moments before. So he was walking outside of an inn, blacked out, and woke up to a giant-ass fucking snake in front of him. So he just leapt back and accidentally leapt into a portal. And tripped and fell, and the others followed suit. And we met Zen on the other side of the portal, because Lysander decided to be a dick and stay back. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't remember where I was going. Oh. Guess I'd been through a lot, so he was like, I think he was asleep at the end for a day or two, because he gets exhaustion a lot, like the first mission we did, he had like three levels of exhaustion because he was trying to protect Lysander. I keep saying Lysander, and I feel like that's wrong, but 
His name is Lysander now. I don't care what his original name is. Uh, but yeah. Zen and Adrib were arguing about how to prepare meat properly. Adrib wanted it raw. Zen wanted it cooked with a shit ton of salt. And Kethoth is just staring at these two strangers, because he... Human Kethoth has never met Adrib yet, and Zen is new to the party in general, so there's these two strangers fighting in his room, and he's like, what the fuck? Uh, this is sideways, so I'm gonna have to crank my head. Oh, this is uh, while we were fighting the robot dude. A bunch of us stupidly, admittedly stupidly, jumped out the window. Uh, up here. Kethos can fly as a bird, so that was fine. Adrib is a monk, so everything's ridiculous. Zen tried to jump too, for whatever reason, and ended up falling flat on his face. Bali shot Eldritch Blast from the window, and Karis just looking on and like, what? This is Adrib. Oh. Adrib was carrying my unconscious body for some reason. I don't remember why. But he's like, he randomly wanted to apologize to Bali, so he just accidentally or purposely dropped me and bowed to Bali and said, I'm sorry for punching you in the face. You are actually a respectable person somewhat. And this is Galadin with uh, Lysander's gun, because he was an artificer. He had the cannon one. Uh, this is just a picture of all of us, because, yeah, these two in the back arguing about food. These two are the longest living members of the campaign currently, because uh, he's off on a missionary religious thing. I don't remember what happened to Zen. He vanished off the face of the earth and Kalthoth died. Uh, so yeah. These two are still the only living members. Yeah, so they're all... They're not really buddy-buddy, they're kind of at odds, because she's a good person and he is a bad very bad person. <laughs> but, yeah. I drew them buddy because they were the longest members. Uh, these two fight. And since everything has to be in Paris, the healer might as well he heal the Reckless Barbarian. Uh, that video you're not allowed to see. Or, uh, an image you're not allowed Ah! There is this tabletop RPG called Something Something School Girl. And my random... You get random things to... Like attributes, and mine was uh, fox body parts because my uh, TM was very nice. Uh, I can't remember what else. I know these gold pad things were one of them. I just can't remember what they're called. I want to say ocelots. I know that's wrong. And a braided hair. So it was fox ocelots braided hair. She was part of the tennis club. Her weapon was a rock. So she would hit a rock with her tennis racket. That's how she attacked. She was always in her tennis uniform. Oh yeah, she was Yandere, so that's why she says love. She she was actually the most innocent character of the party, even though she was Yandere. <laughs> uh, I don't know what that was. Uh, this is something a friend drew for me. This is her. She's the one who drew it. Me, of course, Fox. A friend who uh, likes Peridot. And a friend who likes Kirito. And this is colored. And this is just us. Me. That's what I look like. That's our mutual friend, Muffin. Oh, this is Muffin's drawing. And Sarah is the one who drew this. So, yeah. We decided uh, what we were IRL. Like, if we play, if we were in D&D, &D, what we'd be. She would be a ranger. I'd be a druid. Uh, he'd be a uh, sorcerer. Almost said warlock. Uh. Oh, this is something Muffin drew for her, for Sarah, because she wants to be a cook. For all of us. Uh, he's also a decent cook. I am not a good cook. I'm also, I was a mechanic. That's why there's a drill there. <laughs> uh, this is a duel by... I think, Sarah. Oh! Oh, this is a birthday card to me. <laughs> yeah. And this is something, yeah, they threw a little... Sarah and uh, Muffin threw a little birthday thing for me, and I saved pictures from it. It was really sweet. 
Uh, so yeah. More happy birth- No, that says my birthday! Uh, well, you probably saw it anyway. But yeah, from Evan and Sarah. Evan is Muffin. That's Sarah, that's Evan, that's me. I always wear hoodies. I have glasses. I don't- oh, I think this was the start of a Christmas picture. That's obviously Kathoth there. I think that's Zen. Uh, Galadin. Does that say Lander? Was his name Lander? I don't know why there's a little- I would assume the little boy is with Zen because they're played by the same person. I assume that's a dreeb back- yeah, it says a dreeb. That's Bali. Oh, I see what's going on back here. A dreeb is, uh... I think at some point we joked about riding on Kethoth because he- He was an Eric Cockra and he could- He was a barbarian, so he was pretty strong, so he could probably lift somebody. So, he's a reindeer. I think we joked about the monk doing it because he was an quote-unquote elf, so he was pretty light. And Bali just likes fucking people over, so he finds it all funny. And that's Kira being Kira. And Galadin. Uh. <laughs> that picture looks so wrong, but no, she's just drunk. She's not. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is. Uh. Something Evan drew. Uh. In a different. This is my character, Syl. She is a murder hobo. Drow. She's. She was a kid. She didn't know any better. Uh, this was our grave cleric, who was a pedophile. And this was Gwen. She's amazing. She lucked her way into everything. Uh, that's something I drew. For a song, I believe. I don't remember the song. Something about planets. My friend is really, really into Doki Doki. And I just felt like drawing her. And chibis and eyes. Uh. Oh, this is us again. I'm. I always play elves, so. Of course, I'm an elf. Sarah is short. She's the shortest of us three, so I don't know why he drew himself shorter. So she's a halfling, and he always plays. Or he really likes typhlings. He doesn't always play them, but I almost always play an elf, except Kethoth was a human, because I wanted that variant human. This is. <clears throat> on her. He is a barbarian. I think he was also an eagle barbarian. But yeah. Uh, all the scars. He met this uh, giant of a man. Monk. And he wanted to learn how to fight from him. And he basically died. Millions of times over the course of a month. Every single bone in his body has been broken at least once. But yeah, you got a level one monk for it. <laughs> and here's him again, shaded. He's part of a dwarven guild, even though he's human, I believe. Yeah, and that's. Oh, we had to fight some evil guy who was known for skinning people. But I'm stupid and I'll still fight anyone. So he skinned my arms. That's why his arms are bandaged. And he wears nothing but a skirt and the headband. And <laughs> it's very funny. Uh, this is a... Uh, I play D&D &D and Fate with a friend. This is his D&D &D character, Ayaka. And his Fate character. Sadly, I do not remember her name, but she was really cool. And... Uh, He's uh, sadly passed away, so I drew this for him, but yeah, anyway, I like fancy art. I was really proud of the uh, line sketch for that. Uh, that's not supposed to be there. I really like, um, you know, what is this? Bendy. <laughs> I'm wearing the fucking shirt, but yeah. Bendy. I like Bendy. Uh, and I also like Collier, the android sent by Cyberlife. This is something a friend of mine drew. That would... Yeah. I'm the one who says fuck you. <laughs> I really like the outfit design, okay? Uh, I am made of love. 
Oh, this is an Undertale fan song thing. I like a lot. Uh, that's not something in there. Uh, I, I like the contrast. I have a store! What a great way to close this video! You should check out my store.